Welcome back. Yes, it has been some time since you've heard my studio voice. The video for the prior two transition updates was recorded one and a half months prior to my medical treatment. And this video comes about two months after the treatment, with about one month to go through the period of maximum side effect from any collateral damage associated with it. I am doing okay and blessed in so many ways. So, as you now know, adventure is still possible, but it has to change. Instead of sails and waves and landfalls, there will be wheels and roads and pathways. Sakina, the sailing vessel, which I enjoyed immensely as I punched through Lake Erie Chop and glided peacefully, sometimes, through the Zephyrs, must be passed on to another water-based adventurer. Instead, a new wheeled adventure vehicle will take its place. They're typically called recreational vehicles or RVs, but for this video, I'm going to call it an adventure vehicle. So when you hear me refer to this in this or, or a later video, you will hopefully recall what I'm talking about. For this new to me adventure vehicle, I have set a few off-the-cuff search parameters. I'll be looking for a vehicle that is in the same price range as Akina, the sailboat, and also about the same length of 32 feet. Due to the price range, it will not be new, nearly new, or even kinda new. And I don't know if it's really possible, but I'd like to keep it under 20 years old, which would be half or even less than half of Sakina's age. The adventure vehicle will also be named Sakina, which is an adaptation of an African word for quiet, tranquility, or serenity. And for me, my quiet place. On the challenge side, I will be moving from a vessel with a few simple systems to a vehicle with a number of systems, some of which are fairly complicated. So I must be prepared for an increased maintenance load or perhaps an increased maintenance bill. We shall see. The adventure vehicle search will be conducted in the same way as the adventure vessel search, primarily online, reviewing hundreds electronically, then traveling to check a few. Then after one is found, having it surveyed, and if all is well, or at least okay, buying it. Sakina, the sailing vessel, after reviewing hundreds of vessels online, was the chance vessel sitting in the yard for sale when I went to see the second of two vessels which had been selected as potentially the one. The vessel I went to see, I did not like when I viewed it, but this Maxi 95 was sitting next door. You've got to be open to the possibilities and not walk past a great opportunity. Again, we shall see. That's all for now. In the next video, we will go through the actual vehicle search process. Thanks for subscribing as well as watching. And by the way, what are you going to do with your freedom?